Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help. So today I'm going to be working on a MacBook 13 inch and um, one of my clients dropped this off a few days ago and I had to order a new screen uh, that's busted, cracked down on the bottom left side edge here. It's filthy. Anyway, so I'm just going to jump right in here. So let me switch over to my little side view here and um, I went ahead and removed the screws just to uh, in lieu of saving a little bit of time. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop the back off here. And this is a relatively easy process um, for this model. So, um, so once you get the back off, basically you have two little rubber tabs right there covering the screws that need to be removed to replace this. And um, these are Go ahead. Uh, um, actually, and also for this process, um, I'm going to disconnect the battery. There we go. All right. So on this model, just lift straight up like that. So typically, you want to remove the battery before you do any type of service on these, just so you don't short anything or have run into any other miscellaneous problems. Right. So we'll go ahead and disconnect these two little cables, and then you've got another ribbon cable running over to right here. It also needs to be disconnected, so you just lift this up right here, come in, kind of, this is taped down to the fan, so just release some of that tape and then kind of wiggle it back and forth, just dis disconnect that, and this whole connection right here is going to come up. Alright, so as you're unrouting these cables, they're just going to come back to this back corner right here. And as you go in to remove the screws, there is a, a grounded connection back on this side. So I'll go ahead and remove this side first so you can see kind of how what's going on with that there. So sorry, I don't have my grip pad down here that I normally work with. All right, so you'll notice as I pull this screw right here out, it is connected to a grounding grounding connector there. So let's go ahead and push the screw out of the way. So that releases that entire side. Let's go ahead and remove the three on the opposite side here. And uh, this can be kind of intimidating. It's a fairly simple pro well, it's a fairly simple process because I've done it so many times. Uh, but you're gonna lift up on your <clears throat> LCD cable here or LVDS whatever flip that back out of the way and in addition to that there are two tiny screws right here there's two little brackets that go in the back here that need to be removed so this is a T4 so okay so when you go to remove these it's gonna be the screw and the bracket that comes out and just take note of the position of this bracket if I can get my fingers on it so you kind of see how that looks right there and set that back there with the screw and there's another one on the opposite side that also needs to be removed and the position of that one is just the opposite of the one we just took out like that I'm going to get my fingers in here lift up gently so that you actually are flipping the hinges up and out away from the screen and once you get to this position you should pretty much just lift out like that so let me show you from this angle so if you just kind of flex it down once you get to that point it'll disconnect right there so all right so let's get the old screen out of the way here and um, this is a new screen here. I'm going to pull off the connector covers here. And we'll need to flip up our bracket arms. So basically just grab it there, kind of lift it to a 90 degree angle like that. Do the same thing on this other side. Get this out of the way there. And, uh, this, this one up to a 90 degree angle. So from there, you're going to 
go back and kind of do the same thing you just did. And um, you'll want to place your cables towards the back area here so they don't get caught up in this connector when you go to put this back in. And you're just going to lift up. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it at this angle, but and then it's basically just going to drop right back down in to sorry, plastic wrap there is kind of getting in the way. There we go. All right. So now put my first screw into position there. Tighten it down. Just a little. Don't tighten it all the way down because you still want to work on your alignment. So I'm going to take the first screw on this opposite side. Get that one in position as well. And uh, once you get your screw into place, when you go to put this back on, don't forget about your bracket. Can't tell you how many times I've gotten caught up on this because um, it is very easy to forget. So you just want to place that in line with that and then put your screw back into place. And go ahead and tighten that down just a little bit. And then on this outer edge, you're going to want to just look along the edge of it here and just make sure that the alignment, everything is flush on both sides. When you go to put this back together, tighten it down. And you can kind of squeeze it from the front and back and both sides there, like so. There we go. And at that point, you can come in and tighten down both of these screws. And so we're going to take the long one, the longest one, and clip it down onto our Wi-Fi card over here. And it does help if you kind of spin this around just a little bit as you go to stick it back down in there. And it'll help it uh, click back onto that module there. Obviously when you're done, give it a, each one of those um, a little tug there. Hopefully you guys can see this in the video. So now that those are in place, you're gonna want to reroute this other cable. And uh, route it back across the top rear here. Make sure that it comes in and plugs back in over here. Like so. There we go. And then that will come around, and then you'll just tuck it back down into place there. You're going to want to put this bracket back into place. And it's usually easier for me if I use a pair of tweezers to come back in and just kind of drop it and drop it into place there. And then once it's in there, you can come back in with the screw. Again. When you go to tighten that down, it'll pretty much self-align, so it's not that big of a deal on that part. And don't forget to put your screw covers back into place there, like so. And then after that, you're going to want to hook up your LCD cable back to the system here. And uh, on this one, when you get it lined up, you kind of want to wiggle it back and forth. It never really wants to go in quite straight the first time off. So just kind of line it up there, and then you may have to bounce back and forth from side to side. But once that's all the way down in the place there, you want to make sure that this little bar that flips over locks into place because that keeps it locked in. And uh, the last thing actually is to go plug your battery back in. So go ahead and pop that back into place there. And smooth that down, and then you come back in, pop the cover back into place. And initially, before you put the screws back in, you do want to flip it over and uh, turn it on to make sure that everything is working properly. And it's possible that the battery is dead on this one, so I may need to plug it in. Oh, oh there it goes. 1% battery. Let me quickly plug in a charger here, and um, just so you guys can see the overall login on your screen, everything looks good as far as that goes. So, um, so actually it's zero percent. So I'm going to let this uh, charge up for a while. But now that I have verified that everything is working properly, 
And I'm going to go ahead and put these uh, screws back into place here. And I always go reverse until I hear it click and then start screwing in. Because on Max, it's very easy to strip the screws or misalign them. And when you go to tighten them down, they'll feel really tight. But then you'll notice on the surface, if you go to rub it, there's a rough edge because it's sticking out. There. And as I mentioned, I usually alternate um, because that helps ensure that the bottom cover is aligned properly. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting the rest of the screws in this puppy, but um, that's it. I uh, just wanted to go over this real quick and show you guys how it's done in case anybody out there is having little issues with it. So um, thanks for watching Frank's Tech Help, and as I always say, peace.